You're probably familiar with Mothman, the winged humanoid that allegedly terrorized the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia in the late 1960s. But did you know that similar sightings have occurred all over the world, and that stories of such creatures actually go back for centuries? In folklore, they are sometimes depicted as harbingers of doom and sometimes as benevolent protectors. One cluster of sightings occurred in Pennsylvania in 2011, when people reported seeing a creature described by some as a gargoyle and by others as a demon. But was it just a simple case of misidentification, superstition, or something else? On March 21, 2011, a man driving down a desolate road in Butler County, Pennsylvania, between Chicora and East Brady, spotted what he at first believed to be a deer in the distance. As he approached, he realized it wasn't a deer at all, but a hunched over winged creature. As it stood up, it revealed itself as a tall humanoid covered in leathery skin with long arms and muscular legs. It appeared to be around 8 feet tall with a flat face and helmet shaped head. The witness said he couldn't clearly make out any eyes, but that they might have been pointed in the corner. The creature crossed the road and entered a wooded area. The witness said it walked with a strange gait, almost as if its legs were bent backwards. The man returned the next day to look for tracks, but found nothing. In the following days, three more sightings were reported in Keppel's Corner, East Brady, and Rimmersburg. All three sightings were almost identical to the original with witnesses spotting an eight or nine foot tall muscular wind creature near a road. They described it as having a pointed head, flat forehead, a slit mouth, and eyes that were squinted but swept upwards at the corners. They were quoted as saying that it seemed like something straight from hell. Interestingly, a similar cluster of sightings were reported 72 miles away in Freedom Township, Ohio, two years later. Although the physical descriptions of the creature were similar, these reports differed in that nearly every witness saw the creature actually flying. They said the wings were huge, around 20 feet, and they made a loud sound when they flapped. These sightings occurred from 2014 to 2015. So what did people actually see? Like with Mothman, one of the first theories to emerge was that people were actually seeing some kind of large bird, maybe a sandhill crane whose wingspan can reach over 5 feet, the first witness's description of the creature's walk is also reminiscent of a bird. But none of the other characteristics seem to match. The creature was described as humanoid with muscular legs and a distinct face. I'm more inclined to believe that the later sightings of the creature flying were birds, since the encounters were more fleeting. But the initial road sightings are harder to explain away as a case of misidentification. Perhaps the most likely explanation is that it was simply a hoax, created either by lying witnesses who wanted to get their name in the paper, or by a prankster in a costume. Though it may seem silly, it has happened many times before, such as the 1958 Little Blue Man hoax, where three friends dressed up in a homemade alien costume to scare drivers on a road in Michigan. After all, by 2011, Mothman was practically a household name, so it's not out of the realm of possibility that people want it to be a part of the legend one way or another. But it's interesting that similar winged creatures have been a part of human history and folklore since antiquity. It seems like every culture has its own version of these beings. Some of them are protectors, some of them gods of destruction, and others monsters. Do these creatures simply reflect our fascination with flight and the heavens? Or is it pointing to something else in our distant past? some ancient creature who's been lost to time, but still partly lingers in our collective psyche. Whatever the case, these sightings will remain a mystery, for now. If you like this video, please subscribe to Cryptic for more.